With a variety of product types supported within Ordoro, it's inevitable that you'll need to drill down to specific sets of products to take certain actions. And Ordoro's advanced product filtering allows you to dig into your products by filtering by multiple statuses, um, supplier assignment info, fulfillment info, card info, and, and much more. And what's really cool about these filters is that they can be overlapped so that you can dig down into multiple statuses at once and really get specific with the set of data that you're looking at. So let's go into a quick overview of the advanced filtering page. So first of all, you can definitely filter using the drop downs uh, to get to a certain set of products. For example, here I'm looking at kits on open orders. So this is going to show me all of my items that have a status of a kit parent and also that are a status of on open orders. So multiple statuses at once here. You can also type like a normal search in the omni bar here. So if I wanted to look, for example, um, any kits on open orders that were a DVDs, I could go ahead and type DVD here and hit enter and it's gonna go ahead and search for that DVD within the product. Uh, along with this, as you kind of get more comfortable using the Omni bar, you'll see that we have all of our statuses listed here. So as our product search, um, if I were to search for a sales channel, it would throw that on there as well. So we have all of our searches in here and you can definitely use those drop downs, but you can also go ahead and start typing. So for example, if I wanted to look at my sales channel that had um, bash in the cart name, so I can start typing cart semicolon and then type bash. Maybe I don't know the full name of this sales channel, um, or I just wanna find all sales channels with that in the name. If I go ahead and hit enter here, you'll see that it went ahead and pulled this full Bashirian cart. So it's got the full cart in there. Um, this, is, this is really helpful if you don't know exactly what you're searching for, or just kind of pre-populate it. And these little um, cues will be available for all of the different statuses and filters that we can use. Those will be the shortcuts, like what you see I typed cart, but it switched it to sales channel. Those shortcuts are gonna be available on our support article. So you can always go there to really learn how to use this fully. And one other thing that's pretty cool about this here is you'll see that I ha as I've added all of these different um, searches within here, it's also saving them up here in the URL. So if this is something that you need to either go back and look at frequently, maybe we'll take it back to you wanna look at kits on open orders. This is something you wanna look at frequently. You can go ahead and bookmark this and just come right back to it. So that's super convenient to, to be able to look at a certain set of products frequently. Um, it's also useful if you want to share it with someone. Maybe you're looking at a set of data and like, hey, this is a really, this is interesting or they need to take some sort of action on it, whatever. Um, you can also just send them this URL and they will be good to go to go ahead and look at the same filter as you. So it's really, really functional and awesome. Um, so let's just look at uh, a couple of the different filters that we can do since we've done an overview. So here I'm looking at kits on open orders like we talked about. Um, I can also go, let's say I wanna look at items that I need to reorder. I know I'm not gonna order the kit parents because that is uh, a, a bundle that I've made within my system. So my suppliers don't necessarily know what my kit parents SKUs are. So I don't wanna see those in a low inventory filter. So I can just go to this toggle over here on the right. You'll see it pops up, that's a reverse filter. So all of these guys, all of the statuses have these reverse filters. So if you just go ahead and click that, you'll see it went to not kits. And then I can stack on that low inventory filter to go see all of my non-kit SKUs that are in low inventory currently. Go ahead and select them all, order more, or take whatever action I need to on them. And let's see, so another filter that might be helpful is to see what's in need sinks per sales channel. So this is another stacked filter that's really helpful. So if I want to go to a status of need sync here, you'll see this is all of my products that are going to write back on my next sync task, depending on the cart that it's in. Um, but it's kind of a mix here. Maybe I really only care what's going to need sync in my purchase cart. So I can go ahead and add that cart filter in here as well. And then I'll see all of my products that are going to write back to my purchase cart on my next sync. And you'll see on this product too, this one's multi-channel. So I have a collapsed view, but we can expand the view to look at all of the products. 
and then we'll see the quantity that's actually going to write back to Birch's here, which is different because I have different settings for that. And yeah, basically take a look through all of these. So there's a lot of functionality that we can use with this advanced product filtering. Um, kind of a sum up of a hit list. It's awesome to be able to do multiple statuses at once, as well as layering on top different suppliers and sales channels and category filters. Um, it's great that we are able to bookmark and share this so that we can use it across the company or just come back to information quickly and easily if we need to do it frequently. And the reverse filters help us to really dig into products that are uh, specific to what we want to see. So, you know, we want to see that products that aren't in need sync. Hey, cool. So it looks like I have a lot of product, all of my carts, products from my purchase account need to sync back. This is a test account, so I'm probably not syncing inventory, but kind of a good way to see that sort of information. So if you have any questions about the advanced product filtering, you really want to get into the nitty gritty or just really anything in general about the app, feel free to reach out to us and we will be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.